Hey guys, it's Sarah from All Coin Bus Ladies, and today we've got loads of Granera in the market, and it just brings out memories to me of what it was used to be like a year ago when it was literally just a constant bull market, and it honestly brought some really good memories. So, the biggest gainers of the last 24 hours are Fun for Bitcoin Private and Verge. Well, that's quite interesting to see. Tron is at the top as well, Sia Coin, Red Coin. It's quite an interesting choice of coins that are currently booming. Bitcoin has seen its lowest prices for 2018 once the November dip started out approximately two weeks ago. And Bitcoin started out this month with around $111 billion only to drop below $64 billion in the course of three weeks. However, we can see Bitcoin climbing up by 13% in a single day, reaching $73 billion in market cap in only several days from the starting point of $64 billion. The trends in the market are definitely cutting prices and mass, but it appears that the end of the month is bringing some significant progress, at least on a daily level, although the recent gains are not enough to pull the market out of the crisis. Having Bitcoin breaking out the resistance of $4,000 and trading at $4,282 might push the value further to the end of the month and perhaps even secure a new bull run session for Bitcoin. But I don't want to get too much into this topic and I'll show you my tweet in a minute explaining why. So the thing is that Bitcoin entered the month above the value of $6,000 trading at a price of nearly $6,400 at the start of the month. However, the king of all crypto soon went down with the dipping market only to reach its lowest value of below $4,000 with going over the value of around $3,800. And with Bitcoin declining in a giddy fashion, it seems that more and more investors were retreating from the market, sending Bitcoin to a prolonged surge with the rest of the crypto market. But during November dips, Bitcoin was able to pull out several rebounds with the rest of the market, but the gains weren't enough to provide a significant positive return, and none of the positive market trends have survived more than 24 hours in the last several weeks. That is how many have proclaimed Bitcoin is dead, which is one of the numerous cases when Bitcoin was predicted to meet its damage. And with the latest mass rebound in the market, Bitcoin and the rest of its crypto peers might have a chance for entering December with revisiting highs instead of dropping to new lows. And I already have said it in the past that there is lots of cryptos that have already reached this all-time high and some of the cryptos will never, especially all coins, will never go back to the prices that they were in January, for example. So I've mentioned a tweet that I wanted to, to talk about. Obviously, follow me on Twitter if you're not yet, at AllCoinSara. You know, it's normal Twitter. But I wanted to say about Twitter's mentality. And yesterday, crypto Twitter was full of people saying that Bitcoin's dying, crypto bubble, Bitcoin bubble, and calling it loads of stuff. And today, as soon as there's a little bit of greenery and a positive attitude is back into the market, people are calling all coin season. There are articles shouting bull runs back, beginning of the bull run, we reached the bottom. I think everyone should be a little bit calm as we have seen that 2018 has shown to be absolutely unpredictable when it comes to the crypto market. Nothing has been like it has been before and we really need to understand it and learn from this bear market. And I hope you guys have been taking some serious notes and learning for the future bull market. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Remember to subscribe to Welcome Bus Ladies. Let me know what you'd like me to review next as well. And follow me on Twitter, Alcoin Sarah, and I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.